stop all these siege tanks now, those drones really desperately trying to run for their lives. Go ahead and get this started. So here we go, 10 seconds away from the first match here for Wednesday Night StarCraft Infinity Gaming challenging VV Gaming on MLG Testbug. Now, Matron, why don't you do the honors of introducing the starting locations as soon as the maps are finished and or the map is done loading for everyone? And we'll sure get the game underway. Just loading in here, it looks like we'll have VV Rough spawning as the Red Terran. Not quite sure his position yet. And then it uh, looks like he'll be in the southern position in sort of this, uh, this city industrial complex type terrain. And then Zergling will be spawning up in the grassy jungle terrain up in the northwest as the purple Zerg. Yeah, so Zerg versus Terran here on Testbug. You can pretty much see no immediate cheese off the bat, no crazy six pool or anything like that. As Ruff pretty much most likely will be setting up a supply depot over here by the ramp. And and this game will get underway. Testbug, one of those maps, only three spawning locations. So um, always very interesting to see as there's not many three spawning location maps out there, especially even in ladder play. I believe Testbug's the only one. Um, sorry, in tournament play, and there are none in ladder play at all. Yeah, so it's definitely a map that players, if they spend a lot of time laddering, don't get practice on. Uh, check Zergling's profile right before the match, and he's a pretty heavy ladder player, almost 900 games this season. So again, like VVV time, possibly someone who doesn't get a lot of practice on this map. So we'll see what strategies he has in store. Uh, it is going to be a pretty easy to take natural. You're quite far from your opponent, even though there are only three starting locations. And he is sending out his first drone here. And we'll see whether that impacts his build order. Has yet to uh, kind of tip his hand whether he's going for a pool or a hatch first build. Yeah, so as soon as we figure out if it's going to be an expansion first or an extractor pool, we can start making some predictions. We see Zervi now making his way down with the drone. It looks like it will be a hatchery first, and he'll probably follow it up or most likely follow it up with a spawning pool to make sure he does have some natural defense. But we already see a double racks coming in from Ruff. And however, Zervi does spot this, so we should be seeing a spawning pool. Perhaps not seeing an extractor, though, just because you want to make sure you have enough minerals, get enough drones and Zerglings out for those spine crawlers. Yeah, it looks like Zergling actually made a few extra drones. He's up actually to 16 drones, has yet to start the spawning pool, just starting it now. So rather than go for that 15 hatch and then the 14 pool, actually went for a 15 hatch and then 16 pool. So made a few extra drones and Ruff is coming with not only three racks, or two racks, Rex, but now he has a third Rex on the way, so a lot of pressure going to be coming from him in the early going. So we'll see whether that delayed pool and now the gas is going to uh, hurt Zergling in the early going. Yeah, Ruff right now sitting at 17 over 19 food. He doesn't have that many minerals right, now, right yet, so he will be supply locked a little bit. Supply Depot finally coming into play. He is now sitting at 19 over 19, upgrading to an orbital command. So Ruff is also um, delaying a little bit of his economy and his marine production to get up that third Rex, and we'll see whether or not it's going to be effective. But with four marine marines out in just a moment or three marines out in just a moment those three marines will be able to essentially two shot any zergling that comes up the hatchery is already up you can see a spine crawler now coming down at the natural ramp an overlord is in position to get a little bit of sight perhaps they should try to hover over the high edges so that the marines are not able to shoot it down as an scv finally comes in from rough what do you think is going on in rough's head right now as he sees this hatchery well he's gonna uh He's probably going to be feeling good about this early pressure. He sees that the spine crawler goes down, which is sort of the bane of this early pressure, since the spine crawler does have that two natural defense or armor. Uh, Marines doing very little damage against them, but he could might might be able to scoot past that as we see Zerglings, four Zerglings out in the center of the field, able to take down one of those SCVs, and we'll see whether Ruff pulls another SCV to join here. He is streaming Marines out of these three racks, and now he's going to see the spine crawler and have to deal with it. Yeah, so the spine crawler is there. There is that queen as well. The queen could try to uh, get some damage in there, but he will have to pull back because the spine crawler able to get off one shot, and then the bunker was canceled. So. Yeah, so a little bit curious move there as the bunker wasn't really that far it was not within range of the spine crawler so we'll see whether or not ruff tries to actually deal damage or just tries to play it safe well ruff's scv only had five hit points left so the queen hit it and uh destroyed it so he was almost forced to cancel that bunker he had no scv ready to finish it up 
So now he just has these uh, these nine marines here, going to try to do as much damage as possible, force some extra zerglings. As we see the spine crawler coming in here, this could be Ruff's opportunity to try to focus this down. It takes a full 12 seconds, so he's going to try to focus this down before it does burrow, and he might be able to get it down. The spine crawler getting one or two more shots, and now Ruff is able to take down all these zerglings or all these drones. We see some zerglings on the way for zergling speed about to finish as well. The queen does go down, and Overlord goes down as well. Not yet supply blocking zergling. And now Ruff uh, doing a ton of damage here is definitely going to be able to take down this hatchery. Yeah, and there you go. There's the very, very fast GG Ruff opening up with a triple marine um, or triple racks marine push and really getting that early kill.